and then you've got time all right okay so if you want to change anything or look at any other things just scroll up and down on the menu button heating settings so if you want to operate the heating off the swift command system you need to change that from which is at the moment manual so again you're pushing the screen uh, button toward pointing towards the screen you can switch it to timer so that this control panel will switch switch the uh, heating system on and off on the timer from yeah. here or app so if you're going to use the app yep you, you can operate you obviously need to switch to app okay i'll just leave it on manual for a second and I'll just exit it showing leisure charging no vehicle battery so if your car was attaching see what the vehicle battery was condition of solar power obviously you haven't got the solar power panel no, uh, attached at the, the moment yeah, yeah but it would show you that even though it's showing that it looks like full obviously it's not actually doing anything at the moment because that's all uh, disconnected Select battery if you did have the car still attached on site, on pitch, you could actually draw 12 volts if you really wanted to. Tank fill. So if you remember the two inlets on the outside, yep. the top one that says direct to tank, connect the pipe to that, press that, so again the arrow pointing towards the screen. Tank fill on, you can see this little icon in the top right hand corner, as I say water will be coming in at this, at this point, obviously it's not connected to the outside at the moment so it won't be doing that. When, it's, when it gets to full, it will switch it off. Okay. Right, and then do you switch it back to? Yeah. So uh, fill off. Yeah. So it will switch, switch itself automatically anyway. AC limit. So when you're on the site, you've got a 16, or well, possibly depending on where you are, a 16 amp bollard that you're connecting your electrics to. If you draw too much electric, obviously you can trip that bollard. Well, with this, you can actually set a limit. So uh, you can set as low as five amp. So on the continent, they're likely to be some. Obviously, in certain places, can be just five amp all the way up to 16 amp if you want to or off what it will do if you say you've got an electric kettle and you the ampage in the center is what what you're drawing at the moment if it goes above that limit you've set it will actually shut down the um, the boiler on the electric side so it'll just shut start shutting down the kilowatts on that okay so if you switch the kettle on it will just start doing that Obviously, if you draw too much, it could still trip it anyway. But if you draw, you know, start switching loads of electrical things on, it can still trip it. So as soon as the kettle switches off, it will allow the power to come back up on the on the boiler. Okay. Or well, otherwise, it's off. And you're just being careful what what energy you're using. Internal temperature. You will notice that the internal temperature will be slightly different there to there because the thermostat's in different places. Dimmer level. We've gone. Heating settings. We've done. System settings. So if you want to change the clock or you want to connect uh, via Bluetooth. So the first time you want to connect via Bluetooth, you need to pair it up with your phone. We'll do that uh, shortly. Okay. And that's, that's just the Sergeant uh, system. So that's what you're using. Okay. okay.